Coming up on Beyond the Metal, we've taken you through Vancouver by foot. Now join us as we show you the Olympic host city from the air. He's Jesse Sinsack. She's Lila Ibrahim. We are on a plane. That's right, Jesse. We are on a plane, but just not any plane. We are on a seaplane. And when you're here in Vancouver, these things, you see them flying around everywhere. I am so excited. We've done enough walking around. I cannot wait to get four or 5,000 feet up in the sky and check out beautiful Vancouver. It is. It's going to be beautiful. We can't wait. We have Captain Xi here, here up behind the controls to take us on our tour, and we're about to take off. Tell me a little bit about the, uh, the plane we're in. Tell me a little bit about seaplanes in general. How are they? I mean, obviously, they're different from small prop planes because they don't land on the ground. But what other key differences are there? Well, I mean, these are these are pretty much the lifeline for a lot of people here on the BC coast, especially in some of the littler communities which are up the inlets uh, and up, up some of the coastal areas. Uh, they're only accessible by uh, either boat or a float plane. Um, this particular plane that we're on right now is a de Havilland built uh, DHC-2 Beaver. Uh, this one was built in 1951, and uh, they're a real workhorse. They they They've been on the coast here, you know, for 40, 45 years, 50 years, and uh, uh, some of the communities would be uh, absolutely lost without the low plane industry. Captain Sheehy, out of my, um, out of my right, that, those are some of the Olympic venues, right? Absolutely. Right below us on the right-hand side, you'll see the Coliseum, which is uh, going to be home to uh, some of the um, hockey games. Okay, what direction are you taking us in right now? I'm going to actually turn you northbound here, and then we're going to hit back westbound. So we're going to go along the uh, the uh, mountain side of uh, Vancouver, North Vancouver. Uh, we'll be passing Cypress Mountain, which will be uh, another one of the venues here locally for the uh, aerial skiing and uh, snowboarding and half-pipe events. Okay. So now this body of water that we're flying over, you know, it's like the bay or whatever we call it, but what's the actual name for this body of water that surrounds Vancouver? This is the Barad Inlet, which extends all the way up around uh, to the east of Deep Cove and uh, up the Deep Cove Inlet as well, up towards the, uh, the mountain base as well. Hey, right, Lila, you ever flown a plane before? Uh, no, but I feel like I'm about to. Uh, I'm flying a plane. You go. haven't even driven the rental car yet, and you're flying an airplane? <laughs> why does this happen? Hey, why does it feel like the nose is going off? Because you're pulling hey, back you on the push forward. Oh, 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 my God! Easy there, Lila. Small movements. Wow. Okay, I'm gonna hand this back off. I feel like I'm not doing very well. Roger, contact Vancouver Center one three three. Can feel that? There you go. So if you push it forward, plane will start going down a little bit. Okay, we don't want that to happen. No. We don't want to go down. And then if you want it to go up, you just pull back a little bit. What we're gonna do is we're gonna keep it around 1,500 feet. Oh, okay. Because we don't want the F-18s intercepting us today. Yeah, that would that would ruin your day. So what, uh, what's the reasoning behind that? Why do they want to keep everybody under 1,500 feet? Uh, 1,500 feet is just keeping us below the cloud cover right now, so uh, I'll, I'll be able to get up a little bit higher for you so you can get a bit of view of the uh, city, but it was just the lower cloud that was out here. Sorry, I feel like I'm turning and I shouldn't be. That's Am right. I okay? Yeah, you're okay. Okay. Hey, Lila, I don't mean to be a backseat flyer, but do you even have both hands on the uh, little steering wheel thingy majigger? No, there? because I, I had to put... No, I'm not. <laughs> Some people. I gotta put my bike up. Put it up. Yep. Whoa. Oh, easy. <laughs> to fly the plane and then you fell out of the <laughs> and then plane. And I fall in the water. Out. Captain Sheehy, thank you so much for the wonderful tour of Vancouver by, beautiful. by air. Beautiful. So was, beautiful. It was great. Glad you enjoyed it. 
Of course, and I'll tell you what, I think Lila did okay, but she's nowhere near the 12,000 hours and the, you know. I'm working. I have now built two minutes of flight time. So. My, my biggest issue is I couldn't jump out if something went wrong, you know. But I think she did okay, so Lila, nice work today. Right, I'm thanks. proud of you. Thank you so much. If you want to learn more about Seaplanes or Seaplanes Tour, you can check out West Coast Air online. Or you can check out AP's full coverage of the Winter Games at wintergames.ap.org.